Okay, so this video is going to be about downloading an app to your Samsung TV, how to add an app to home, and also how to remove it from home. Something else that we're going to talk about here is what to do if on a specific application does not appear on your TV and uh, you know it's an app that is supposed to be available in your area in this case we're working with a US TVs so the first thing we're going to do is to go to home and go to apps right here you're supposed to have all the installed applications in this row right here it says install downloaded apps and uh, in US, I am supposed to have more than, than these applications that I have here. I'm supposed to have Hulu, for example. And if I am going to download an application, which is the first uh, thing that we're going to work with, let's say I'm going to download Hulu in this, in this case. Um, I will type it here, Hulu, right? And then I hit the check mark to search for the app. The TV does not find that app because my TV right now is not set to have the app from US. The apps for US are not available on the TV right now because it has a different country setting. I am going to come back to this uh, in a moment. Okay, so let me try to find an app that I can download, a random app. Okay, so I click on the letter T and I get different apps right here. I'm going to download any random app. Let me select one of these. Uh, any of them. Let me download this one for example, just to, to show you how to do it. I will install the app. Okay, so once once it is done I can either open it or add it to home then the application is going to be shown on home on the bottom of my screen right here right here I won't do it this way I will go just back and try to add it from here if I have an application there and I want to add that app to home the way I do it is by pushing and holding on the middle button of the remote control okay so if I want to add this application to home uh, what I have to do is to use my remote control and after I have my app highlighted after the app after the icon is bigger than the rest I can push and hold the middle button hold it until I see a drop down next to the app then this comes up here I have the option to either delete the application reinstall it view details but the one I'm looking for is add to home when I select it it brings the app to my home and then I can place it wherever I want so for you to remove it from here let me exit out of here so that I can show you the the home for you to remove it from here you have to highlight the app and this time just hit the down arrow and it says move and remove move for me to place it in a different place and remove for me to take it off this home screen this doesn't mean that the application is no longer on my TV because as you see if I go to apps the app is there for me to delete it I have to push and hold the middle button and this time select delete so if the app you're looking for does not appear on your TV it could be either because it is not available for for the television or because the country settings on your TV are not right most likely you will just need to change the country settings or make sure the country settings are right for you to get the app you are supposed to on your TV 
so what I'm going to do now is to change the country settings on my TV uh, this can be done by calling technical support and asking them to check on the country settings for the TV by connecting to, to the TV via remote management okay so for you to open remote management and allow technical support to access your TV the only thing you need to do is go to settings select it using the middle button and then go to support and there you will find remote management you turn this on right and then it will ask you to view the terms you hit view terms and then if it says I disagree don't put a check mark on it it says in, in a different language here but if it says I disagree do not put it do not do not put the check mark on it just hit close and if it says I agree put the check mark and hit close in this case I won't put it because it says I disagree with the terms and condition I will close it and then it should give me the pin code to remote management one seven three zero okay I'll put this on here I have the TV now providing me with a pin code and I can provide that pin code to the person that is going to connect to my TV and uh, they should be able to do a smart home reset in order to change the country settings so I'll show you in a minute how it looks when the, the country settings are being changed how the apps look when the smart home has been reset on the TV in order to change the country settings when I highlight apps it is asking me to do the terms and policy setup I will go ahead and do that now when I am on terms and condition is when I can change the country settings Okay, so the technical support uh, agent, the, the representative that is assisting me, would open this screen on the on the TV, and I can go ahead and find US for me to set the TV to this country. United States of America now it is downloading the terms and condition for United States and uh, I should be able to agree to all and hit OK uh, for me to skip this very important for me to skip this I can just go to the right until I skip it and then make your smart hub I can also just hit done and then next so my apps should be here it takes a little while to come up it's, it's loading right now so here I have all the apps I've been downloaded right now these are the apps available in the United States as you can see here now I have Hulu which was not available before it comes uh, on the TV so that's basically how I set up my TV to support all the apps in the states or in the country I am with a TV. Here I have my TV Plus and all this stuff. So, so that's basically it. Uh, we're all set on the the setup for the TV. Now it is set to to have all the apps and uh, that's it